Welcome to the intriguing world of the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This classic film, directed by Victor Fleming, brings to life the timeless tale of duality and the consequences of unchecked human desires. As you explore the gripping narrative, you might find yourself contemplating the age-old question of good versus evil. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? The film showcases the exceptional acting prowess of Spencer Tracy, who brilliantly portrays the internal struggle of Dr. Jekyll and the sinister allure of Mr. Hyde. Trace's ability to seamlessly transition between these two contrasting characters adds depth to the storyline, leaving audiences captivated by his performance. Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it's the chilling transformation scenes where Dr. Jekyll's experimentation takes a dark turn or the gripping confrontations between the dual personalities. The film's ability to elicit strong emotions and provoke thought makes it a memorable cinematic experience. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Have you watched it with friends, family, or even in a cinema setting that amplified the suspense? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about the film. Did you know that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde received critical acclaim for its atmospheric cinematography and innovative special effects, especially considering the technological limitations of the time? These elements contribute to the film's enduring legacy as a classic in the horror genre. So, as you revisit or discover this cinematic gem, keep an eye out for the nuances that make it a timeless piece of storytelling. Share your thoughts and experiences with us, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. In the 1941 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, director Victor Fleming faced a challenge during the final scene with Lana Turner, who played a key role in the film. Turner struggled to cry on set, even after the director's attempts to evoke the necessary emotion. In a noteworthy moment, Fleming resorted to forcefully grabbing Turner's arm prompting the tears needed for the scene. This incident sheds light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics and the director's determination to capture the desired performance. The film introduces a twist in the romantic subplot, deviating from Robert Louis Stevenson's original novella. The characters of Beatrix Emery and Ivy Peterson, representing the dual romantic interests of Jekyll, Hyde, were not part of Stevenson's narrative. Instead, the concept originated in the stage adaptation by T.R. Sullivan for actor Richard Mansfield in the 19th century. This alteration in the romantic storyline adds a layer of complexity to the characters and highlights the creative liberties taken in adapting the classic tale to the silver screen. Ivy Peterson, portrayed in the movie, finds her origins not in Stevenson's novella, but in the 1931 film adaptation. Unlike the original story, where Ivy never makes an appearance, the inclusion of her character in the 1941 film adds a dynamic element to the narrative. This departure from the source material underscores the filmmaker's choices in crafting a compelling cinematic experience. In conclusion, the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde navigates both on-screen challenges and creative deviations from the original novella. From behind-the-scenes efforts to evoke emotions from actors to the reimagining of romantic subplots, the film weaves its own narrative while paying homage to the timeless tale penned by Robert Louis Stevenson. Spencer Tracy, despite not meeting his co-star, strongly advocated for a unique casting approach in the 1941 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Tracy proposed that the characters of Ivy and Beatrix, crucial to the film's thematic exploration of good and bad qualities within individuals, be played by the same actress Catherine Hepburn. Tracy's vision aimed to reinforce the duality central to the narrative emphasizing the contrasting elements inherent in each person. Despite Trace's creative input, the film faced significant criticism upon its release. Described by the New York Times as not so much evil incarnate as ham rampant. More ludicrous than dreadful, the 1941 adaptation struggled to resonate with critics. Spencer Tracy himself expressed dissatisfaction, labeling his performance as awful, marking it as his least favorite among the films he starred in. However, despite the initial critical failure, the movie managed to turn its fortunes around, ultimately earning a profit of $2 million globally. 
Tracy's unconventional casting suggestion, and the film's roller coaster journey from critical disappointment to financial success underscore the dynamic and complex nature of the 1941 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde adaptation. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a glimpse into the challenges and triumphs associated with bringing this classic tale to the silver screen, highlighting the intricate interplay between creative vision and audience reception. In the end, the 1941 movie Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde stands as a testament to the unpredictability of cinematic outcomes, where initial setbacks can transform into global triumphs. Spencer Tracy's bold casting idea and the film's eventual commercial success showcase the resilience and adaptability of the industry in delivering compelling narratives to audiences. Spencer Tracy, a key figure in the 1941 adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, faced challenges in realizing his vision for the film. Tracy originally aimed for a realistic approach, envisioning Dr. Jekyll engaging in violent deeds in an unfamiliar neighborhood post-consumption of alcohol or drugs. However, his expectations were thwarted by producers who opted to virtually remake the 1931 version of the film, a decision that disappointed Tracy. Moreover, the impact of the Hayes Code is evident in the movie. Stringent censorship led to significant alterations from the 1931 version, with the character Ivy Peterson undergoing a transformation from a prostitute to a barmaid. This adjustment was necessary to comply with the Code's regulations. Despite these challenges, the film's fate took a turn. Tracy's unconventional casting suggestions, coupled with the adjustments made to adhere to censorship standards, contributed to the movie's commercial success. Tracy's dissatisfaction with the production, the compromises made due to censorship, and the unexpected triumph at the box office underscored the dynamic nature of the 1941 Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde adaptation. In summary, Spencer Tracy's thwarted vision and the impact of the Hayes Code shaped the 1941 adaptation, highlighting the delicate balance between creative vision and external constraints in the filmmaking process. A movie's journey from Tracy's initial disappointment to eventual commercial success stands as a testament to the complexities inherent in bringing classic tales to the screen. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic tale of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, take a moment to let the echoes of its dualistic narrative linger in the corridors of your mind. The year 1941 birthed a cinematic masterpiece that transcends time, beckoning us to traverse the shadowy realms of human nature. As the credits roll, let the dichotomy of good and evil explored in this classic seep into the recesses of your thoughts. Perhaps you find yourself contemplating the thin veil that separates the benevolent from the malevolent, or maybe the haunting performance of Spencer Tracy as he embodies the struggle within. What echoes of Hyde do you sense in your own life, and where does your inner Jekyll find solace? Share your reflections, for in the exchange of thoughts, we unveil the diverse tapestry of interpretations woven by the cinematic masterpiece. Whether it's the hauntingly atmospheric cinematography, or the moral quandaries laid bare, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde invites us to not only watch but to introspect. Engage with us, fellow traveler, and illuminate the screen of discussion with your personal reel of thoughts. Have you ever encountered your own metaphorical potion, altering the contours of your identity? Or perhaps, like Jekyll, have you struggled with the ever-present duality within? Your insights add color to the monochrome of this cinematic gem. Share your favorite moments, ponderings, or even the unexpected parallels you've discovered. In this dialogue, the celluloid comes alive, and the narrative extends beyond the frames. Let the whispers of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde resonate in your musings, as we collectively uncover the layers of meaning embedded in this timeless masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the enigmatic realms of 1941 seconds Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Your time and reflections are valued contributions to the ongoing narrative of this cinematic classic. Until next time, let the shadows of Hyde and the light of Jekyll dance in the corridors of your contemplations.